What, what was the relationship like with you and L.O.? Because I, mean, I always remember when you got out of jail, L.O. was right there. Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. It was like, um, me and Shadow, we just like real friends. We just, as soon as we met, we had just like a serious, we just started being partners from that day. And I think it's just because of who he was and who I was. At our core, we just was good people. And even though we was in the music industry, we had a lot of the same values for us in the streets and being loyal and what we went, ain't going to do and what we, you know, what we thought was like unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, that was our bond. Like we never rubbed each other the wrong way, man. We had like the best friendship. It was like every time we see each other, we happy to see each other. And, um, but when he passed away, I, I met P. Mm -hmm. And me and him kind of like had that same, got the same friendship now that I had with Charlotte Lowe. And it's almost the same thing. We didn't grow up together since we was kids. Me and Charlotte Lowe didn't grow up together since we was kids. We met when we was adults. But it's like the mutual respect, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's just like, you know, like you meet people you just jail with. All right. And that's what it was. What do you think his impact was on Atlanta? What, what, did, what did his passing do? And man, it hurt a lot of people, man. Listen, they still grieving. His crew still grieving him. He kind of like was, uh, he was a very central figure in Atlanta hip hop, but just for D4L, for the West Side, for Bankhead, like, man, I feel like the West Side, the West Side ain't been the same since Shadow Low left. Mm. It just ain't the same. What did you learn from, from his passing? He died when he was 40 years old. I'm 39, I'll be 40 next year. It, it made me like, man, I'm, I'm gonna take, you know, even though he died in a car accident, just a lot of deaths coming like so fast. My, my father died um, like two years ago. My mother died January. Both of them died when they was like turning 60. Damn, so he I died hear. when he was, so you yeah, appreciate that. He died when he was 40. It was, man, it made me like every day I'm taking my health serious. I don't want to have all the money and be dead and don't enjoy it. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to. I want to enjoy it now. I don't want to wait to ball later. I don't want to retire. I want to work and I want to work part on the weekend, go on vacation, and go back to work. Have you given yourself a chance to grieve though? You said you just lost your. You lost your pops. You lost your mom. Like I think uh, I don't. I haven't grieved like pro properly. I don't think I even know how to grieve. I'm gonna ask you that. What did that even look like for you? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Don't be honest. I don't. Like a lot of stuff, I just, when shit just get hard for me, I just go numb. Mm -hmm. I don't even, that's just my defense mechanism. Is that healthy though? I don't think it's healthy, but it's uh, it's practical. It'll get you through the days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what you think the biggest lesson you learned so far, period, in life is? Biggest lesson, uh, don't take everything so serious. Um, try to be nice to everybody that you can. It don't pay to be mean. It don't pay to like uh anybody can anybody can be an asshole. Anybody can be racist. Anybody can be a bigot. Anybody can be prejudiced. You know, but try to like be tolerable. Try not to be judgmental. That's my thing. Have a high tolerance level and try to accept everybody. Treat people like you want them to treat you. Like me, don't be bougie. Don't don't never don't never try to go big on nobody. I always remember where you came from.